Action News Jax received reports of another incident that happened where Lair Camp was allegedly assaulted and it involves a different victim. Action News Jax Nick Gibson reports police say this teen was assaulted with a toy gun. Yeah, and according to the Glen County Police Department, the child's mother came to them and showed bruises on her child's back. According to this report, it doesn't state the juvenile's age, but it does say a male shot someone with a toy firearm that had Orbeez inside of it. Action News Jax learned where this incident happened on March 26th is the same house and location where 19-year-old Trent Lyricamp was assaulted and later hospitalized because of this. We learned that his blood alcohol level was six times the legal limit at the time. No arrests have been made in this case. I spoke with Action News Jack's lawn safety expert, Dale Carson, this afternoon, who says both of these incidents he believes are related. Well, the fact that they're in the same location tends to indicate that this kind of behavior, this hazing behavior, seems to be going on at that location. So necessarily, there must be a connection. Carson asked, because this second case is involving a juvenile, it could bring criminal charges to the person who was involved. Um, the minor is not sufficiently of age to consent to the conduct. So the result is now that there will clearly be criminal charges brought when the parent of the individual who was hazed, if you will, makes a complaint. Carson says law enforcement interviewing the victim in this case who was assaulted is key. For local coverage you can count on, reporting from Georgia, Nick Gibson, Action News